In this video, we're looking at uh, how we can recompose a square root from factors. And we really went into this in detail in our last video where we decomposed square numbers. Basically, what we said was the square root of a number of one factor times another square root of another factor equals the square root of the product. Right? This is the way we're working right here. And that's what we're looking at in each of these. This basically means I can think of this and this as the square root of 2 times 50, which is great because that is just the square root of 100. And what's the square root of 100? Well, that's 10. So look what we did. We took an irrational root, multiplied it with another irrational root, and we got a rational answer. So that's really fun to do. So the square root of each of them combined gives us a rational result. The product of these two irrational numbers gave us a rational answer. And this one, the square root of 4 times the square root of 16. Well, again, we can think of this as the square root of 4 times 16. And what's that? What's well, the square root of 64, which is just 8. So this is a whole number as well. Whole number, whole number. In the last example, this equals the square root of 4 times 6, or the square root of 24. The square root of 24 is between 5 and 4. 5 squared is 25, and 4 squared is, is 16. It's between these two. So this is not a whole number. And this is just an example of, of how to actually combine smaller roots into a product. Right? And a general guiding principle is you can take the square roots of the two numbers you're multiplying, combine them, and find the square root of the product, and that's the same answer. So this is actually equal to 10, this is equal to 8, and this is equal to the square root of 24. Hope that helped.